Hello? Hachala. <laughs> okay, so I've been saying Hachala. <laughs> and people are like, what are you talking about? You just sat there and let me wave to people, said, like 15 uh, people, and it's like, Hachala. Ah, I, I thought maybe you have some words, American, you know. I just thinking about that. You thought it was an English thing? I sit yeah. there thinking I was speaking Urdu. Because I. Today we are going to a store. That's where Wahid lives. Uh, he invited us to come stay with his wife and children for a few days. He's leaving on another trek here on the 24th, so we only have a couple days. So we left from, we were taking a very roundabout way of seeing the north of uh, Pakistan here, but hey, it works out how it works out. So we went from Skardu to Gilgit. Now we're going back down to a store and then when we leave a store we're going all the way up to Hunza and then back down to Gilgit. So uh, anyway it's roundabout but we had to have our stuff. We want to meet with uh, Wahid's family before he heads out on another two-week trek. So just the way that works and uh, we're seeing a lot of countryside on the way. So it's pretty good overall. All right, so we're gonna get picked up here and then we're gonna go to breakfast. And uh, I wanted to mention something, speaking of breakfast, coffee in Pakistan, not common, especially here in the north. In Islamabad, you can definitely find a lot of fresh ground coffee. Here in the north, nothing but instant. So uh, be prepared. I mean, even at the Serena Hotel, instant coffee. So we actually, I just found out that we actually brought my wife, she's so freaking smart. We actually brought a small pack of coffee with us. Uh, we just need the ability to heat it up in a kettle because kettles aren't that common in the hotels here. So uh, hopefully uh, tomorrow when we're staying at Wahid's house, uh, we'll be able to heat up some hot water and enjoy some actual, you know, hot water over coffee beans, real coffee. So we're excited about that. Another thing I want to mention is ATMs. If you need ATM here, most, pretty much so far, even in Islamabad, everywhere in Pakistan, Visa cards. MasterCards do not seem to work. I, I've heard that maybe they only work at like standard chartered banks or ATMs, but right now I've not found one single ATM that accepts a MasterCard, even if they have MasterCard on the ATM, just won't accept it. So that's something to keep in mind. I like using uh, ATMs for my money. I get uh, reimbursed all ATM fees through uh, a couple different bank accounts. One bank account is a Visa, uh, thank goodness, a Charles Schwab account. Another one is an Aspiration account that they reimburse me, but it's a MasterCard. So anyway, just uh, think with that. and. It's not very common to pull out more than say 10,000 rupees. I found one place that I could pull out 20,000 at a time. Uh, but anyway, that's only $60 US. But that's just something to uh, keep in mind. All right. So now we got a new vehicle and it's got this seat in the back. That's awesome. So about a five hour drive to a store. Okay. Going to Medina for some breakfast. Same place we went yesterday. Gonna get some yogurt and some French toast. Are you hungry? All right. Kareem, our driver. Nickname Ronnie. Ronnie Kareem. Can you honey mine, honey? There you go, me man. All right, light breakfast is complete. I like uh, I like yogurt for breakfast, or just eating a lot of yogurt. Like even we were eating this, drinking a sweet lassie after eating uh, uh, lunch yesterday. It just seems like it just does better for your tummy. 
So definitely like eating yogurt in the different countries we go in. Those that have been watching our videos for a while know that for the most part, we are not a fan of getting guides. Mainly for the reason that we have had bad experiences where the guide has ulterior motives and their main concern is, quote, guiding us to places where they can get a kickback or commission. Another reason we don't prefer using guides is that they're seldom kid-friendly, leaving us dealing with bored kids and that gives the kids a poor memory of the experience. However, when you get a good guide that is dynamic, it can definitely add to the experience. Also, if you've watched enough of our videos, you know Ronnie has his own brand of humor and he likes to test a guide and sort of interview them beforehand. Some think it comes off too aggressive, but it's practical because it directly informs the guide what he has to deal with and lets us know a bit more about whether we should spend hours with them and if it will be a bad experience for the kids. You can't just throw tons of info at kids and demand that it sticks. It doesn't work that way. Most of the time, giving a little info you got from searching the net is way better than a mountain of info shoved at them from a guide. Info overload is a terrible way to teach. Now you definitely don't need a guide to explore North Pakistan. You might want to hire one to do a street tour in one of the cities, or if you're attempting to do a trek like K2 Base Camp Trek, you will definitely need one, and well, it's a requirement. Even the porters were getting lost from time to time, so not only is it a legal requirement to hire a guide, it would just be stupid not to, as the trail and the glaciers are constantly changing. What is very nice to have it when in northern Pakistan is a driver. There is no Uber up here, and unless you want the challenge that comes with renting a car, then a driver is the best choice. Since we are filming and have kids, hiring a driver for the time up here was such a great help. It completely cut out a vast amount of complications, and since we have been fast traveling and basically sleeping in a different spot every night for the last three weeks, having a driver was so nice. Wahid was our guide on the K2 Base Camp trek, and his help was basically life-saving. This trek is no joke, and there are real dangers involved, and I hate to think what might have happened had he not been there. Another major awesome point with Wahid is that he understood Ronnie's humor without missing a beat. Ronnie would say some off-the-wall comment and Wahid would respond without missing a stride. So you know that earned Wahid major points right off the bat. We became good friends on this trek, so he decided to hang out with us for a couple days while in Gilgit. So Wahid is not our guide, he is our friend and he even invited us to come visit his village where he lives and grew up in, and we were excited to come with him. Afterwards, we'll be heading up further north to Hunza, and he will be heading out for another trek. So we're paying to have Kareem continue to drive us and for the use of the vehicle. So here is, uh, so they're making like a monument to show the connection point of the Hindu Kush, Karakoram, and Himalaya Himalaya. mountain ranges. Himalaya, Hindu Kush, and Karakoram, three mountain ranges here, you know? Three mountain ranges. Wow, the only place on earth, too. Yeah. So in a year from now, this will be a nice big monument. Mm. Nice. This is Jugalat Valley. Yeah, Very nice. Yeah, I like Jugalat Valley. Mm -hmm. All right, this is uh, Jugalat in Jugalat Valley, the town of Jugalat. All right, well we stopped because uh, they're getting some fresh veggies for tonight, it's dinner. Yeah. That's cool, I like fresh veggies. How about fresh apple? We like fresh apples too. Okay, start from here. <laughs> <laughs> apple? Yeah, apple. Okay. Ah, thank you. Well, we're off the main roads now, and we're on to uh, some small roads. The uh, At least they're uh, still paved. I don't know how long they're going to stay paved, but uh, there looks to be more road construction. Looks to be more road construction coming up, so we'll see how this goes. But so far, I mean, this has been a really nice drive. Okay, we're down to gravel with spotty pavement.
We're also back to those uh, cliff sides that make your backside pucker. All right, well, we just said goodbye to Kareem, Ronnie, and uh, now Wahid's driving again. He's a little bit crazier for driving. No, I'm just kidding. He's a great driver. Uh, so uh, I guess he got a call. He had to uh, go to work. Hachala. Hello. Hachala. Hachala. <laughs> Chahale. What's that? They say we have an accent. What's Hachala? Hachala. I don't know. Chahale. What? You say Chahale. Chahale. Yeah, I mean, how are you? Okay, so I've been saying Hachala. <laughs> and people are like, what are you talking about? But it's Chahale. Chahale, yeah. So what was he saying? Chahale, da Hachala. No, no, no. You just sat there. You just sat there and let me wave to I people, said, like 15 uh, people, and it's like, ah, yeah, Chala! I, I thought maybe you have some words, American, you know, I just thinking about that. You thought it was an English thing? I sit yeah. there thinking I was speaking Urdu. Because I'm not listening to all the proper Chahale. Gahale. Gahale? Yeah. What the, this is completely different than what I say, learned. <laughs> what the heck? Then you say, Chikaku. Gahale. Chikaku? Okay, but forget all that. Forget all that. Let me get this first part down. Gahale. Gahale. Oh, forget it. Assalamu alaikum. Awesome. Just forget this. I'm waving to people, saying crazy stuff. They're like, they're being nice and waving no, no, back, but say, nothing yeah. I'm saying makes you sense. Like, I spent, like, I spent, like, I spent two hours saying the wrong damn thing this whole time, and no one corrected me. Thought you were saying something I was else, asking, you know? I was asking Kareem Ronnie if I was saying it right. Okay, lunchtime. More chopli kebab. All right, what's this town called? Girikot. And that's uh, in a store. Yeah, you see my store. Assalamu alaikum. Chapli kebab. Chapli kebab. Ooh. Looks good. Chapli kebab. Pa Pakistan spicy isn't too spicy. No, it's not. Pakistan spicy is fine. Okay. He can make it regular spicy. He can make okay. it normal spicy. Normal Pakistan spicy. What? What he like? Chapli kebab. Chapli kebab. Okay. Yeah. Every five chapli kebabs. Yeah. Chapli kebab in today. Which reminds me. Actually, this this uh, situation kind of reminds me of when I was a, uh, something my grandma told me uh, when I was four years old. She brought me into the kitchen and uh, she sat me down at the kitchen table mm -hmm. and she went to the fridge and she grabbed a nice big glass jar of cold milk. Mm -hmm. She sat down this big old glass of milk. She pours it all the way to the top and right there in the center of the table, covered with a red and white checkered cloth, was a mound of fresh baked chocolate chip cookies. Whoa. She shoved them to me. Inside. Well, there's a whole big plate. My yeah. grandma, it was Nana, you know, Nana's, Nana's special chocolate chip cookies. And she said, she goes, she pushed them to me, didn't say a word, didn't say anything. So I'm like, I'm four years old, I'm just eating my chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. So she sat there just staring at me for like 10 minutes. I'm on my third chocolate chip cookie. And she said, Ronnie? I said, yes, Nana? You know, she goes, I'm gonna tell you something very important. She goes, one day, you will be presented with a situation, right? You will be faced with a challenge. Challenge. Yes. And she said, don't for a second do you waver. Do not hesitate. When you get the chance to eat a chopped kebab two days in a row, 
you take that chance. So, I was like, I didn't know what the heck she was talking about, but she was my Nana and she was giving me a bunch of stuff for cookies. So, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, that, that was the wisdom of my Nana. Yep. See, did you hear that? Bastion, Bastion loved my story, my heartfelt story of me and my Nana when I was four years old. They say I liked it. I didn't love it. Oh, okay. It's a heartfelt story about me and my Nana. It's all, I just want a little respect is all. Mm. Nice. This is some more. How do I eat this? How do I? You grab a piece of uh, chapati. And then you just tear it off, tear it off, and then you, you rip into your uh, chapati kebab. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's super easy. How is it? Good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. We're chapati kebab family. Sup, you love Smells good. Hey, get out of my chutney. Star chutney. Okay, fine. This is your chutney. Oh, <laughs> I'm using your chutney. Mmm. <laughs> oh, this is your chutney. Oh, thank you. Oh yeah. I like it more. Okay. No, dip it in my chutney this time. Alright, this is a very excellent chocolate kebab. Tell them I really like the spice. Yeah, both tell them I like the hot. Yeah. Pansu vie, in I Australia or the Tao. Australia, the Tao. Most of the people are here. Yesterday, one Australian guy is coming here. He's eating, he says, same like you, says, good. Oh. Let's see if it's spicy. Smart Australian guy. Okay, thank you. Well, I don't mind to slow down anymore. I don't mind the sound of my shoes on your floor. I don't mind selling out or playing cover song. Just as long as friends and family sing along. I don't need more money or a faster car, now. Nah. Don't need a magazine to call me a superstar, now. Nah. I'm gonna take this little house and make a home And then I'll never have to face my nights alone Cause in my heart I hate Spain And on my face I feel you breathe to by land, by air, by sea And that is how it's supposed to be Now, and that much I can say Now Pulling loaves of bread down from the shell And how rare it is that I stay up past twelve In the backyard we are going to start a garden If that don't sound mighty good I beg your pardon Cause in my heart I hate you speak And on my face I feel you breathing to me, to by land, by air, by sea, and that is how it's supposed to be. Now, hello, how much I can say. Jahale, 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 Jahale. Is that good? Close enough? Jahale, after a one is maybe here. Hey! Sir, Abdul Rahman, my friend.
Ben, how are you? Hi. Hey. hey, hey. <laughs> are you okay? We're fantastic. Are you okay? Thank you. Good. Good to see you. <laughs> we saw your father's house. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he goes, I think Abdul Rahman might be here. And then you were? <laughs> That's fantastic. So, oh, hello? School done for the day? School's good? Oh, it's Saturday. Saturday open. Open school? Oh, okay. Okay. All right, we'll see you. Thank you. Abdul Rahman, good man, good man. Abdul Rahman, one of our, uh, one of our awesome porters from the trek. It's cool seeing these guys. Hope we get to see uh, a couple more guys. Hey mom. Hey mom. Yeah. You look like a kid with the double ponytail. I know. She looks totally young. Hello boy. Who's this boy? He's my sister's son. Oh, he's your nephew. Thank you for the key, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Awesome. This is a husband and wife, sweet husband and wife room. Yeah. If you like. Yeah. And Great. then this one for the Someone. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, the, the whole room's a bed. <laughs> yeah. The whole room is a bed. They can sleep anywhere. Yeah. I like it. Who's that boy? He's my son. Hey! Youngest son. Salam to Good to meet you. Tick tock to her. Tick tock to her. Hey, the hat trust. What, what is his name? His name? Majid. Majid. Good to meet you, Majid. 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 Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Boy, yes, salam. Did I ask you anything? Yes, I asked you. See, four? I have four, yeah. No, how old? This is uh, four years. Yes. Yeah, okay, you nailed it. Good job. Okay, bye-bye, Majid. Bye-bye. No, no, oh, tea. Yeah. Ketchup. Ketchup? I don't, I, don't like, I don't do, I don't like ketchup with my tea. <laughs> What's the ketchup for? You're not using the sugar, that's why we're bringing ketchup. Oh, because the ketchup's got, oh, this is a special <laughs> Pakistani uh, secret. Yeah. This is, this is pro-level tea. Oh, wow. Thank you, sir. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he said heaven. I think A man likes uh, the the uh, Fries. the display here. Yes. Take off my shoes. I don't want to be in them no more. This one's black tea. This one is black tea. <laughs> okay, that's black tea. We'll pour chai into this one, and uh, milk tea is this in chai. this one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Chai's in that one. Yeah. No. This is chai. This is black tea. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, on the two different streams? Yeah, I like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we had a joke on the trek uh, where some people would want chai, some people would want black tea with milk, and some people would want milk tea because I thought chai was something different. A lot chai of all, masala. Chai mas we thought it was chai masala. Chai masala was chai, like the chai-flavored drinks you get in the States or somewhere else. I kept wanting chai tea, that flavor, but chai just means milk tea. Black tea with milk, milk tea, chai, all the same thing. So we kept ordering all three different things.
Come here. You can come here. Oh, black tea with milk. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I like it. When do we meet your other children? After tea. Okay. The two children is Gilgit. Oh, they're in Gilgit? Yeah, two oh. is in Gilgit. Oh, so we don't get to meet them. Uh, two is here. One daughter and this small son. Okay. The youngest son. And how, how old are the uh, children in Gilgit? Uh, seven. Hand me my tea. And ten. Seven and ten? Okay. Yeah. And they go to school in Gilgit? Yeah. Okay. These are like donuts. This is like a paratha. We just mm. make chapati and then we make it pieces and then we fry it. Yeah. I bet it's good in here, we huh? We got it like a mm, shiriki. Shiriki? Yeah. We call mm. them donuts. Donuts. We call it shiriki. Very nice. And the fries, local potatoes. Local potatoes, yeah. Yeah. Or fresh potatoes, not old potatoes. Mm. Mm. This is a new way of drinking tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like we did the, the. You scooped it all up with tea? Hot chocolate yeah. with the cookies up in Alikim. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And pakora? Is this pakora? Pakora, yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's very good pakora. You love it. Hello. Good to meet you. This is my wife, Hatullah. Yes. Shakila? Shakila, yeah. And this is brother's wife. Hello. Good to meet you. It's a beautiful baby. Yeah. She has uh, one son and one daughter. Yeah, boss. From both sides, we can meet again. My third son. Who's this boy? This is a uh, brother's son. Ah, two children? Yep. Yeah, one daughter, one son. But eat. Mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. happy with that one. Yeah. Sahar? Yeah. Very good to meet you. Hello. Here's my daughter. Sahar? Sahar, I like your glasses. <laughs> I like them. I think they're, I think they're cool glasses. For eye. They are prescription. Yes. Yeah, Is it for seeing better? Yeah. Okay, and then too much sun too? And then they can change another ones maybe. Does she ever wear clear glasses like this? <coughs> she has like allergy, you know? Oh, allergy. Yeah, so that's why. Uh. And it makes her look cool. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was cool. We just uh, had some tea, had some conversation, met Wahid's family, sat down. It was nice. We had some of that cool, tasty cornbread with some chai. I like it. Very relaxed, very easygoing atmosphere. Just super chill. Cows. And there's zero internet, zero cell signal, but hey, Total disconnection. Oh, there's a hole full of potatoes. Potatoes. I found the potatoes. Yeah. I did it. I found them. Do I get a prize? I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> you like French fries? 
Yeah. Uh, chips? Yeah? yeah? Yeah, good. Me too. So, hey, can I help? No, no, no. Just I can't help? I'm not no, allowed? No, not allowed. It would be offensive? Not allowed. Very okay, good. fine. <laughs> Very offensive. Very offensive. I can't help bring luggage. I, it's a lot of luggage to bring up. He's freaking tougher than nails, but man. Okay, so here in this village of Churit, every night for four hours, they run a generator so that we can have light. Just like this light bulb here. So this light bulb just came on. So I'm gonna cruise down there and just see all the dudes hanging out next to the generator. Why? Because it looked cool to me. disastrous when now the Ooh. art bases are just full of mountains of old gas cans there's old you know mills ready to eat sitting here watching uh, general where the jones vlog no with it. some uh lost like the kids here tours really <laughs> and while he's daughter it, so i could always see that after we got i put it on there's her hanging out with me so i thought i would put it on beautiful hey you are testing you are affirming that you will take care of the environment while you're out there. B-Man's like living like life of luxury here. He's like, like five stuff yeah, that. this is total five star action here. Yeah. So I have one, two, three, four, five <coughs> layers of um, <laughs> So do you think you're going to be comfortable? Yeah, five layers of mattresses. <laughs> do you think you'll be warm? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're gonna spy. You're gonna spoil him, Wahid. I have way too many pillows. I have, I have nine pillows, including this one. No, you only have nine pillows. Yeah. Uh, Wahid, he only has nine pillows. Yeah. Add, uh, four pillows that side, four here. Yeah. One there. Can we get like seven more pillows? Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good night, bros. Good night, bros.